Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so David Harbour, right? Exactly. Hopper from Stranger Things. I don't know the dude's name. Points. But, that was that um, guy. <laughs> First of all, Head into the crack house. Head into the crack house. Head into the crack house. Greetings. Welcome to Fort Fritz. I am your host, Fritz, joined as always by co host, Man Daddy. Hi. Angela. Hello. And Kaz. Guys, something really, really big is happening in the news right now. I know you got the laptop out. The, the, main, the mainstream media is going to report on, on the it. The lame stream media. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, man, daddy. God, every time. What's going on, Angela? You yeah, say? attention. What's going on? Talking about gargoyles. Goddamn gargoyles taking over our airports. Awesome. Finally. <laughs> yeah, you ha- haven't heard that on Fox News. <laughs> Fox News is reporting out of Denver. <laughs> the, the Denver airport, one always known to be uh, a symbol of the Illuminati. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks yep. like a Nazi swastika because Ugh. of, you know, the compass, northeast, southwest. That's why. It's a very intense airport. Are you airport. guys, like, being yeah. serious? Everyone knew that the Denver airport oh, yeah. was a yeah. symbol I've of been the there. Illuminati? Yes. Well, you know, there's all, I can't believe we haven't done a, an entire episode about it. Well, there's so to. many weird things. I mean, what that, the that's, fuck? I know. We're off. It's I, uh, a very interesting place. It's it really, very odd. Lots Seems of odd artwork. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. like the, the first thing you, the first thing you see and you get there is like a giant uh, statue of Anubis. You I don't, think. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty tight. Yeah. You don't it's even know the half. Right. That'll like, probably set off the initial like yeah. alarm bells. You're like, well, all right, well that's a little. <laughs> Kaz, you don't even know the half of it. Uh, <laughs> Miss, <laughs> Miss Fritz and I flew out uh, 2017 oh, to Juneau, Alaska, and we had yeah, to fly from faster. Orlando, Florida, to Denver, Colorado. When we landed, Miss Fritz goes, "Look." Because she knew about the Denver International Airport. There are reptilicons <laughs> living. Just and you can look around. this up. It's a yeah, fact. They're running around. around. Look They're it up. Check in your baggage. Google it. The very first thing that she did was, I, I have to take a photo of this. When we landed, there was a massive, like, six feet by 12 feet wide portrait of a dead sunflower field. And dead sunflowers looked like wilted like dried up corpses. Oh. Denver's weird though. It's like Portland, so, like Austin, like motherfuckers are getting weird out there. You smoke <laughs> weed and shit. Like the Denver International Airport recently unveiled a quote 230, 243 year old unquote faux gargoyle and uh, as opposed to a real one. It's Wait, got, what? <laughs> it has it has a sense of humor. So I'm going to play the audio for you now. What? And what? Uh, let me know. This emanates from the gargoyle. That's a little too close for comfort, lady. Oh, oh damn. Um, it's a Look, have you ever seen a talking mother, gargoyle okay. before? Oh, Welcome to Illuminati okay. headquarters. I mean, Denver International Airport. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that awesome. amazing? Hello. Do I know you? It's like an interactive thing at Universal. <laughs> Are you hungry? Oh, I'm starving. You got anything for me? Those flowers look delicious. Oh, Give me this job. <laughs> Oh, that's You would kill as the gargoyle. You'd be so good. Go to Denver, be the gargoyle. Who's the gargoyle here? I have a question about this conspiracy. I bet you can VPN into the gargoyle in Denver. Sir, are you staying at the desk? Sir, you have resting, confused face. Nice. He's a bitch. He's a sassy gargoyle that just dots you up while you're standing around the airport. It reminds me of that big fountain. Is that Universal has a talking fountain? Yes. Kind of like that. What an interesting job. It looks really, really cool. Yeah, it's a legit gargoyle that actually moves around. Kind of looks like a a Muppet puppeteer. If you guys can see that. A caterpillar. Look at that. That's fantastic. Isn't that incredible? Oh, how yes. cool. So it is fit. It's like a that fixed so statue. It doesn't like walk that's around. So Jim Henson that's kind of labyrinthy cool. That is what if they paid you to be Eeyore? Excuse me, Miss. I've got a typecasting, isn't it? Could you do it? <laughs> how oh. cool is that? It's, it's just talking I mean, shit. Guess what All day, and I love just that. heckling no, people. Hello, welcome to the I Illuminati mean, International mean, Airport. I mean, the Denver International <laughs> Airport. <laughs> like oh, that's nice. a tap. Does it have that's hours? I wonder if he's just always there. You I know? don't know. Those airports don't close. You well, you know what? Doesn't <laughs> have hours left on this planet, Mister Man Daddy. Oh. Okay. Wait. Oh, Was oh. there a comma there? Us. <laughs> Me. <laughs> um. Uh, uh. The guy invented lettuce. Yeah. Invented right? lettuce. Because yeah, I'm gonna kill his ass. <laughs> he could have come up with something tastier. No, you know what uh, doesn't have long for this planet? Life. Because we are in the middle of the sixth extinction. Well, that's really bad. But 
it's really good. <laughs> but when kind of bearing the lead on. yeah, it's really good when scientists find a species of animal that has been extinct for 36 years. Oh, what? Mysterious Universe is uh, the publisher of this one. Leopard thought to be extinct <gasps> for 36 yes. years, yes. spotted it's, in Taiwan. And it's beautiful. The cat came back yep. the very next day. Decade. 36 <laughs> years later. 36 <laughs> years and later. A day. 36 years later, a group of villagers in Taiwan spotted a species of leopard that was believed to have been extinct. For 36 years. <laughs> I like that they knew, nice. too. They were like, yeah. oh, my God, 36 years. 36 Village rangers years. were... Jose. They were exploring the southeast region of Taiwan, and they say that they witnessed the Formosan clouded leper two different Aww. times, and that is a picture of this beautiful Check beast. Check it out. It's oh, freaking... That, those markings are awesome. Baby. Since 1983... Your face I apart. No. It's so cute. That's Immediately. Little, that's the way I want to go. I just want to go. Come here. I'm going to kiss you right on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stare you in the eyes and I'll kiss you on the nose. So, uh, since 1983, they thought it was extinct. In 2000. Cats hide so well. In 2000. Like, you you might have been just oh. chilling for 36 years. <laughs> Especially black cats. Black yeah. cats can hide right in front it's of you. Come the dark. <laughs> they just stop moving and they disappear. After conducting a 13 year long survey from 2001 to 2013. They failed to spot the animal, and that's when they did the uh, they declared the Formosan clouded leopard uh, dis- uh, extinct in 2013. And then they, over time, said that people keep seeing it, and it's a very it's a majestic, very beautiful cat. Uh, go to uh, facebook.com slash Fort Fritz to check it out. Very very pretty cat. Unlike any other leopard, uh, it's a very distinct uh, marking pattern, almost like a Pretty girl. Uh, striped. <laughs> I guess clouded is what it is. Anyway. Um, and then they, they, these, the scientists couldn't get over the fact that they constantly had people saying that they saw this cat. This big, this big ass motherfucking cat. So, <laughs> well, it seems like is a, that a scientific name. Yeah. Is that is, the Latin? Yeah. It, it is, is now. Uh, in fact, the members of the Alangi village held a tribal meeting to talk about the significance of the sighting of the leopard. Oh my as God. well an old meeting about a cat. As well they had this, a cat minute. This was <laughs> they a had, this yeah, they was did. a tribal village. They held a meeting as well as preventing outsiders from hunting at that location. Oh nice. Good. They did the right thing. Good people. And because of that they also were able to call in this team of scientists who are now conclusively reporting that dating back to the 13th century, this cat is, has only been on the island of Taiwan. It is now critically endangered, having been upgraded from extinct. Nice. Coming wow. back. Oh, coming back. So. And nice. they said the Formosan clouded leopard is excellent at staying well hidden. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, seems like it. Seems more like a failure of uh, like uh, the scientists on getting to actually find it than it does the cat actually like failing to live in there. They might have just been like super good at failing to live is a better way to call it space. <laughs> failing is to live. No, it's just failing, failing to live failing anymore. To live. <laughs> it's trying like hell. <laughs> I mean what a I mean at it's least two were hiding. Yeah. At least two were hiding out right? for a long time and they were like, we gotta do this for the Adam and Eve of this species now. I'm Let's teach the babies to like yeah. not be like so like obvious. Like, yes. They're also really, really um flavorful. Oh Jesus. <laughs> good luck. What do you have for us, Angela? <laughs> good luck. Get, good luck getting the taste of that. Sorry, I was just going to say, they, they stay hidden, and they are very hard to trap. They're really smart. Good. Uh, because good. They, they've had to be. Yes. Yeah. Shit, they're like, these motherfuckers are going to kill us. <laughs> Taiwan's a small, like, yeah. I mean, small-ish area. We were on the list, you guys. We were on the list. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the other animals they talk about right, that. They have yeah, their they own, do. like, tribal Dude, meetings. They're like, you're on the list. Yeah. They're like, started, ended at the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> like, we're not fucking extinct. We gotta get fucking John and Jamie out into the middle of the woods. They're on the list, dude. Like, they're the last two. Like, they, we, we can't let anyone else get to them. Like, it's Taiwan. There's like, they're like, uh, back and forth. So, uh, what are you into? And then Incubus's drive comes on. Wherever tomorrow brings <laughs> like, fuck, I could bang to this. Wow. <laughs> you guys need to get back off the list. Cats are into incubus for. Uh, I can see that. Humans? Come on. I can okay. see that. Well, I can see that. Well, you're like, yeah, okay. 83. Upon sure. Cat, I guess. Perfect. Incubus is an 83. What you got for us, Angela? Did you guys see the latest trailer for Game of Thrones season uh, eight? Uh, uh, of course. Hype. 
People are watching it over and over and over to dissect every single moment. There's some serious hype. Oh it's my god! It's amazing. It it and the best thing is that Game of Thrones. You start with, I mean, as you should, loving the Stark family, and then immediately gets torn apart. And so you're waiting this whole show, this whole story, for this one family to get back together. And there's like so many different families involved that you love and characters that you're into. And this trailer is just showing what's happening in their part of the world. What is Arya oh. running from? Right. What and is Arya running from? What scared her? What scares Arya? She, nothing uh, scares Arya. And she I, was like beat up and bloody and shit too. I was just like, oh my God, what the fuck happened? Like, I have a theory Uh-oh. that it's something to do with the faceless men oh from Bravo's no. coming back to get her. Yeah. No. I mean, that has to be coming. So that's Nagar. The, I, I feel like that's the only that thing would so that would sad. terrify her, right? That would be the only kind of oh, demon that can come and get her because... Other than that, she's maybe he shows his full badass. power. Yeah, you know, and yeah, because like, he's he's not Pops a his shirt off and like flexes a little bit. Like, <laughs> just gives a little bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> because I haven't shaved today, <laughs> so run away from me. I haven't brushed anything today, actually. <laughs> you brush more than a few things. It <laughs> should be only one or two things you're brushing. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> once you get to three brushing things, you're, you know. No, that, that, that's one too many brushes. <laughs> you have, like, the, ba- you know, the bath brush or whatever, like, you, like your shower, like, you get your back or whatever with a big brush. So anyway, Angela. <laughs> I don't really know how to segue into what I'm about to talk about. So. Oh, Jesus. No way, just Why? go for it. Is it Is- bad? No. Well, then, yeah, tell us. Okay. No, I, I, I don't know how to go from brushes it's to Game be of Thrones. Than Back to like, Game of Thrones. Brushes and dragons? Brushes and dragons. How do you put Why that not? together? The frills? I don't know. Dragons got a brush. How do you, how do you connect that? They got a bunch dragons of teeth. Dragons got a brush? They got teeth. They got scales. Sure, All types I, of brushing going on. People, no, well, when they eat something with bone, that naturally oh, yeah, that's true. That's what their teeth. Yeah. So every Please. human being cleanses while they nourish. Well, cats. The th- <laughs> cat minute. We're going to have a cat minute. <laughs> I mean, the reason you have to get the cats, you always go back to cats. Um, cats have to get dentals because they're not like if you're having a domesticated cat, they have to get dentals because they're not actually out hunting and killing things because eating the bones actually like cleans their teeth for them. Uh, you legit, legit okay went for them into to cat eat bones. I legit went wow. into cat minute. That's, yes. That's, yeah, that's so cool. actually eating like like lions. Like when they're actually eating things, like they're rubbing their teeth on the bones and cleaning their teeth for them. If you have a house cat, you're just giving them wet, gushy food. There's right. nothing to help, like, clean yeah. their teeth they for them. They have to have crunchy Damn treats it. and everything like mm-hmm. that. Oh, well, I didn't know that either. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Da, 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 Informational da, da, da. cat cat. <laughs> so, so, what's different about this season of Game of Thrones? Is, is this the last one? This, this is, last is the one. last and final season. And I, there are six episodes in this last. Like That's six, six it's supposed to be or... nine normally. I think this is seven because they were going to do two short, but a couple of them are going to be longer. It's going to be like hour and a half long. Ones, oh, yeah. Right? They're going to be like movies, movie yeah. length episodes. Like the first two are, are like an hour ten, and yeah. then the last few are like an hour and a half to two hour freaking long. Yeah. So yeah. Get, get ready So they for made an that. entire like season of movies to watch, which is like cool as shit. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. And which... then it's over. I, and that's it's HBO, right? Thing. It, yes. This is HBO, yeah. and this is nine years of them doing this show. Nine or ten years. Well, I mean, it's nine seasons, but it's been over like twelve years, I think. Well, they started in two thousand eleven, I think. So, yeah, eight, oh, really? I think it's two thousand ten. It's coming out every year. Dude. They haven't oh. taken a year off. Oh, really? Okay. Well, They've been. I mean, this has been about a year and a half, two years since the last season. I yeah. think. No fucking wonder all of these actors are like, "Kill me! I don't want. A, I don't want to keep fucking going back ten, there." Ten fucking I've been nine John years. Jon Snow right. for nine years. I want to cut my and hair. Like, like, right. <laughs> they're like, oh, and you're Jon Snow, but also, can you go to Iceland and be there for like whatever seven months seven and run months around and in the freezing. snow and be cold as shit yeah. all the time? Like, <laughs> you have yeah, to, sure. You also have to like think they know when they die, it'll be. He was this guy, Jon Snow. You know, it's like yeah. he's gonna be like, son of a bitch. This is gonna define my entire career. I oh, can yeah. move on. Oh, yeah, because like, please let me move on. Because most of these people, this is like their big break was this show, and they want to do, they want to make money. Yeah, and they want to go do other. They want to go do other things. Amelia Clark will always be you the, know, associated. I know. Yeah. Everything I've seen her in since then, I'm like, you're Daenerys Targaryen. Yeah, like. I can't. I can't. And I hate people that call her Danny. I can't stand that. I know you've yelled at me for that before. <laughs> I can't stand you, it. I think that was the first time you like yelled personally <laughs> at me. You got very angry about it. Because I mean, she has such an a, amazing name and so many different iterations to it, and take that and boil it down to. I Danny. hate more when people say Khaleesi because I'm like, well, that's, that's not even her that's fucking not name. Her name. That's a title. That's a title. I know, that's say that. how they know her. Huh. It bothers me. And also, doesn't she get shitty with uh, Jon Snow about calling her Danny? Like, isn't that a whole thing? Like, only she kind of does people? say that. She's like, my brother called me. And Danny. then she like lets him do it a little bit. 
And then, he, then he gets down with <laughs> his hot The Targaryen way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what's hotter than family sex? Am I right? The Targaryens, man. That's all they do. I mean, everyone can agree on that. Come family on. Family style means a lot that's of things. Just, yeah, you know. Italian. <laughs> so anyway, Game of Thrones. Targaryens are just like Italians. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't mean it like that. Um, Sometimes your aunt's hot. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes some... your aunt's just too hot not to bang. <laughs> you're on a ship. You're all, like, fucking banged up from, like, fighting zombies and shit. Like... Come on. Oh, I thought you meant banged up. Banged up. You get banged up. No, banged up. Yeah. Different ways. So, uh, any expectations for this season? Everyone's going to die? Oh, man. Everybody's going to die. People have, like, a death pool, because either either they're going to live, they're going to die old, or they'll become a white, which is like a white. Can we hash this out right now on air? Yeah. Is it going to get too heated? I don't know. Torment. What about Torment? Torment is dead. He's not dead. Season the uh, season. No, he made it. Season eight. We're on season eight. We're on season eight. Season seven, end of season seven. Torment's on top of the wall. The goddamn dragon show. Spoilers, everyone. Go watch the entire It's been like seven, two years. Yeah, you don't. The, spoiler, the statue of limitations is over. Yeah, it is. Dragon kills the wall, breathes his like crazy zombie dragon fire into the wall. Ice fire. Next scene is the, worst guy. A, mm-hmm. the top of the wall. Torment the and whoever the hell else he was with. And the thing cracks and Barrett, whoosh, right? Barrett and Darian. Barrett and Darian was up there as well. Mm-hmm. Thing cracks, they all fall, and then they back out, and the entire like hundred mile section of this wall mm-hmm. is falling down. And then in the trailer, Tormund's in like some corridor, like walking around, like, oh, what are we, what are we doing? I'm He's like, trapped. He died. No, he died. He's trapped in the wall. No. I want to see how this man escaped thousands of feet up the wall with the dragon breathing fire, and then the army of the dead marches through it. Uh, apparently, because mm-hmm. they're dead. We'll probably get it in a <laughs> cold opening. Mm. Oh, get it. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. God. Ice. Damn it, Andrew. Oh, that's so much oh, ice. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so, I don't like the fake death of Torment. I'm I'm going on record. I don't believe that. Torment well, you died. didn't write the story, and that's okay. <laughs> I'm upset by it. I, he's they alive, it's us. fine. He ran. He I, knew what was coming up. He, like As soon as that was happening, he was like, run! They show, yeah. And they showed run! other run! people running down the stairs who didn't even make it. The people who were in front of him didn't make it. He was still at the top. Anyway, sorry. I'm upset by the fake death of Tormund. Maybe he yeah, used re- corpses for that, his though. shoes and as a little cape and a helmet. He and just a, jumped off uh, yeah. right into the ice. He's the right. old corpse shoes. <laughs> yeah, the old trick. <laughs> <laughs> Giving him the old corpse shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you haven't done it before. <laughs> who that old chest. That old chest. Thank you. Anyway, what do you have for us over there? Kaz. Uh, so, movie trailer time. Did you guys see the Hellboy trailer? Yes. I haven't, Ooh, I haven't yet. Ooh. 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 Okay, so. David Harbour, right? Exactly. Hopper from Stranger Things. I don't know the dude's name. Points. Okay. That was that um, guy. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> he went from, first, he was my favorite character in Stranger Things because oh, I love nothing him. in that entire series couldn't be solved with Hopper punching someone in the face. He went through an entire, like, military research facility and they were like hey who are you pop hey yeah. that, what's that a zombie or an alien pop like the, he, he had the he has the strongest punch in all of like fucking fiction <laughs> hopper can solve anything with his right hook this is so, true so uh that guy and, and he's his like, waffles exactly and then he's got the soft side where he's not gonna like you know he'll make you like the waffles even though you're being a brat about it so he uh he it's kind of a dumpy, not dumpy, but like a dad bod kind of dude. He's got the gut and he's like a big shouldery kind of dude. He's a um, dad bod guy. This man got ripped as fuck for Hellboy. I don't know if you guys saw that shit. He got like some personal trailer or whatever. He's got like the fucking, the, the goat man. Oh, he's got the V's? Abs. He's got the V's. Like the dude got like <laughs> oh, the Brad jacked. Pitt's from uh, Fight Club. Pike he Club. got jacked. Fight Let me Club say this V's. quickly. Right before uh, we came over here, Kaz and I, were we were looking up Carrot Top. He's got V's. Oh, he, dude. Oh, he's, he's yeah. Jacked oh, he's super jacked. He's fucking swole as fuck. Nice yeah. guy too. He's so nice. He's so nice. He goes to my hair salon. I have oh, no opinion. Awesome. Oh shit! What? <laughs> he's so and cool. gets it done up. What's yeah. up, top? If the, you're out there, top, the, come on. Carrot top. I also come where you at? Come through. I saw him at Mr. Sisters once. Anyway, was, Mr. Sisters it was a great bar that was over there on Colonial. Sister, sister. Nothing. Oh, that was a fun place. Anyway, proceed. Uh, fuck. What's he talking about? <laughs> Hellboy, <laughs> Hellboy, uh, Hellboy Blitz, right? It's, it's going to be. Uh, I don't know what the like the colon is after. I think that. it's just Hellboy. I think it's just Hellboy. Yeah, it's just the and, reboot. Uh, so it's going to be R rated. I know that because of the trailer. That's was, awesome. The trailer was very like red band. Fuck you and uh, like very. And there's, <laughs> there seems to be a lot of like gore and like kind of you know it's more Deadpool than it is uh, you know okay. X Men or whatever. All right. Um, and he's a, a wise cracking like Hellboy. He's like got that same kind of hopper gruffness, sarcasticness or whatever yes. to him. 
is yes. Hellboy Marvel? Ooh. No, I think it's, isn't it Good Caliber? Question. Got no idea. So to, I, it's know, I, mean, I think it's Caliber or uh, uh, Dark Horse. Shit. Oh, Dark Horse was a really good comic book series, uh, uh, publication. So anyway, um, it looks really good. Uh, Mila Jovovich? Jovovich. She appears to be the main... Jovovich? Jovovich. Jovovich. Lilu Dallas. Lilu Dallas. Lilu Dallas is the main... Multipass. She's in Pussifer with Maynard James Keenan. Wait, what? Mila Jovovich is. What? She's in the band? She's in What does that mean? It's a band with Maynard James Keenan from Tool. I know, I know Pussifer, but like, what does she do in that? She what sings. You... What? She sings, yeah. I knew she had albums out before, but I didn't know she was in that. Yeah, she's in yeah. Pussifer. She's like as, as far as recording... Like a couple of tracks or like one featured? Or... Her and Maynard are really good friends. No shit. Yeah. Anyway. So I don't know. Talented actress, and she's going to be the main antagonist, and they've got the special effects look really cool. Like I said, it's going to be more R-rated, more kind of Deadpool-y, a lot of like... Very like sudden type of gore type stuff, and um, I'm excited about it. I actually don't know if it's being directed by Guillermo del Toro or not because the first it's not two were it's not oh not at all okay so oh the first two Hellboys were yeah mm-hmm. oh yeah and they're good I didn't oh, they're, know that. the second one is one of the most visually amazing damn movies you could see they're really good this one looks like to be on par it's yeah, gonna it be like very similar kind of uh, always are good bigness. things but I've never seen them same. Hellboy one and two, pretty good. They're yeah. really good. I don't do comic book movies often, but those those are pretty good. You know I don't do comic. Uh, but uh, yeah, I saw that. And <laughs> fault uh, what else? What else I got? Uh, so this is a trailer segment, be, right? Because I th- I thought you had one other one. Oh, you know what it was? It, it was that we were watching the uh, that cool ass uh, the new Nike ad for the like the women. Ah, uh, yeah. Nike's so making good. women now? Have yeah, you... they, they've got a new line of women, right? <laughs> Super athletic. No, it's... Um, oh, my they God. Purchased it, it's a women. Commer- I don't know if you... <laughs> it's a commercial Jeez. about just, you know, female empowerment and, like, women in sports and stuff like that. And it's it's fucking rad. It's, like, yeah. really cool. It just it shows, like, dope. these live, like, cuts of, you know, women in competition and how, like, fucking intense it gets. And uh, Miss Fritz was, uh, t- we watched it together and she was like, yeah, you know, they always call that like hysterical. And I was like, yeah, but they never, they well, never refer to testerical. <laughs> <laughs> so we coined the That's term testerical <laughs> yes! over, over the weekend. Yes! The I man was, was say, completely testerical. He's, just, he's being, you're being testerical. You're being very testerical right now. What I said was the, the hyster is a shamefully so as a Greek, myth, Greek mythologist shamefully so hysterical is referring literally to the uterus yeah. and and i think that's fucking bullshit because yeah. that's where hysterical came from well a and hysterectomy no, that's where crazy is come from. Like, yeah, yeah hysterectomy yes. exactly and then shut oh up my. Man, <laughs> <laughs> i've never Can seen kaz not? hit oh. i've never seen kaz hit main daddy <laughs> Can we yeah, not? That, that, no <laughs> hey he's that's what he wanted to say that's main daddy at Fort Please. Fritz. There you go. Bring it. Dot. I'm talking to you, Civil Shepherds. <laughs> Dot. No. Bring it, Civil. All right, I'm back on Civil side so at this point. Immediately. immediately I was neutral, out. but now I'm now Civil. Now I'm back. Yeah. Team Civil. Civil's for Civil. Hashtag. We we will bring it back to you, Civil. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, so, and we are so so sorry. Hashtag hysterical. No one ever says dudes are being hysterical. And we fucking we laughed our asses off. And immediately, I was going to write to uh, President Twitter and say, put it on. President Yo, Twitter. You're President of Twitter. Please write about <laughs> this. this thing. Please say that. Is that how that works? You send a letter and it gets on Twitter? No. Uh-uh. <laughs> so the next time, no, what was the tweet. guy who Stamped did? Um, yeah, it's a tweet and you go hashtag president and then you go hashtag fake news and then you say whatever you want and it'll get picked up. <laughs> That's how it works now. So the next time some old white guy is like freaking out, hashtag him testerical. Mm-hmm. Oh. And, uh, and we'll see if we can trend that. There you go. And then you know where it started. I'm going to use that every day. You're being testerical right now. So <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I can't out. wait. <laughs> Have you seen that video of Johnny Depp being totally testerical in front of Amber Heard? <laughs> My name is Johnny Depp. <laughs> there we go. Yes. <laughs> Why is he throwing bottles? Because <laughs> I'm Johnny Depp. I was driving in the desert, and a buffalo told me to give him a jewelry a desert. And I know it, Dan. I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it so many times. I, I, I feel like that burial. is what happened. Yeah. He's being testerical. I'm, being, Don't I'm worry sorry. Yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. He got a little too testerical in that one. It's, yeah. it's got legs. <laughs> it's got we'll, fucking we'll see. legs. I feel like it's a slow burn. Uh, so what do you got for us, man, daddy? Um, well, the main thing, uh, first of all, I want to say a, a quick movie review, because it's one of those ones where you just got to go into it, don't want to know much about it, and just enjoy it, is called Overlord. 
Uh, a lot of fun, really fun. Oh, I saw that. Uh, it starts off as it. just a really epic World War II movie with some insanely tight action sequences. To J. The J. first Abrams? 15 Not minutes. J. J. Yes, it is. Yeah. J. J. Is it really? yeah, yeah, yeah. He did Lost, right? Uh huh. That was was that his first claim to fame or no? Star uh, Trek, Lost. Oh, yes, yeah, no, Star Trek was before. Uh, Alias, I think, was one of his first TV things, yeah. really. Oh, yeah. I never oh. watched that. They came on yeah. right after Raw. WWE Raw, which was amazing because I was like, oh, who is this? And I was like, <laughs> all right, I'm 10. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Got alias. Me. That was Jennifer Garner? Yep. Yeah. Oh, shit. You bet your ass yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. 10 yeah. year old Jeff just locked in. <laughs> so who's this? So who is this? What are her motivations? Anyway, go ahead. But uh, just, it's just a really fun, tight action that it be- slowly turns into a horror movie. Starts Jesus off as just a, a World War II. Uh, action movie, and then it evolves into a horror movie. And it's just really well done. J.J. Abrams, tight action. I give it a solid six of uh, your pulls. Nice. <laughs> uh, it's just a lot of fun. I don't want to give too much away or you know blow anything. Just go into it and have a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so this starts off with a, you would imagine a historical drama, and then it comes into a horror paranormal No, it starts kind of? off as a World War II like, action. We're talking people... In, uh, about to parachute uh, into uh, into enemy territory. It's called Overlord. Overlord. Oh God, that uh, na- that word. I fucking hate that. Overlord. That it, there's something. Maybe I was killed in the past life by a game named Overlord. I don't know. <laughs> overlord. Most really people hate moist. You with see... you, it's Overlord. <laughs> <laughs> overlord. <laughs> I like that. I hate the word moist. You oh. know what I? Hate? Overlord. <laughs> overlord. Oh. <laughs> You're just way more intimidating. Than wow. Mine. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but the main thing I wanted to bring up is what I think is a, in in a a glut of superhero things nice. as you say that you're not a fan of. Uh, there's a new superhero TV show, and I think it's uh, absolutely the best one to come around in so long. It is not that I'm not a fan of. You know, it's just I don't care. It's never been. It's never been your thing. <laughs> like I've you know, never been my thing. The, th- yeah. the thing about what's going on with, right now, especially with the Marvel movies, and I, everything, didn't mean, I didn't mean to derail you. Oh, that's fine. Um, it's it's so much stuff that I was really into. And to get to see it done now, adapted to the bigger and small screen. Sure, That's, yeah. You know, like the the fact they're doing Dark Phoenix is such oh, a big thing yeah. for nerds. And yeah. so it's yeah. like, be, uh, are they going to do it Sophie well? Sophie Turner? Sophie yes. Turner. Yeah. 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 Dark Phoenix? Yeah, yeah there's yes. already a trailer out. Oh, yeah. trailer. Right, let's go. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the Phil best Trump new... Go, go see Dark Phoenix. <laughs> let's do it right now. Uh, she lives line. there. No <laughs> shit. Um, but it's a new show, and it's on DC Universe, the new streaming uh, 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 service from DC, and it's called Doom Patrol. And it is freaking spectacular. I can't express how good this show is. It is funny, like laugh out loud funny, literally by yourself, you'll laugh. And also these deeply flawed, tragic characters uh. that you feel bad for. And it just, it, it blends them so well. Aww. And it's a, it's a DC uh, thing that's been around for a while, the Doom Patrol. It's had different iterations, different mm-hmm. characters have been in it. Uh, the ones that are in this one are Robot Man, which is played by... Um, Oh, God, I can't think of his name now. From the motherfucker's name is Robot Man? What? That's a cool, that's a cool name. Yeah, but who is was he it? a robot? Uh, he's a, uh, he was a race car driver whose body got uh, ripped apart, and the only thing they could sa- solve, save was his brain, and so they put it inside of a robot body. Interesting. They should do so that with everybody. Well, it'd be so question. awesome. So literally, yes. <laughs> Brendan Walsh. Phil- philosophical right question. What are you? Are you your brain is or your Brandon robot Walsh? body? Oh, what's the name? Oh, the guy from Encino Man. Brendan Fraser? Brendan Fraser. Fraser. Brendan That's, Fraser Brendan is Fraser Robot Man. Is Robot Man. Oh, okay. And boy, okay. he is. He's put on a few. Aww. When you get to see him without the That's robot, he's, he's a little bit chunkier. Uh, <clears throat> the other characters are. He's it's got that? Cyborg. <laughs> he's doing good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker got like, torn apart. He's a robot. He's, fine. he's not okay. He's fine. It's fine. He's okay. He's Don't a brain. Body shame. A Jesus he's a, Christ. It's a big right? clunky bronze robot. Ooh. It's not like a slick looking robot. It's a big clunky sort Cast of thing. Cast ye not stones. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's not the quote. To, uh, um... But Doom Patrol, if uh, if you get the D- and do uh, a DC Universe, they're they're doing their own original programming. I'm saying they they're doing pretty good because uh, Titans, which is their oh, Teen Titans yeah. franchise, oh, is so not bad. Good. It's not bad. Yeah, and, but Doom Patrol's a lot of TV way better. Programs though, right? Well, they're taking a lot of their uh, uh, their properties and trying to hold them for themselves. Like, yeah. like you know, that's why you know you're losing a lot of stuff. But also with Marvel, they're doing the same yep. thing. That's why you lost a lot of uh, the stuff on Netflix. Um, that's what I'm sorry. I'm, yeah. I will. Yeah. But D- DC's that. TV shows are great. Yeah, yeah, they've got. They, the, it has a good DC's? lineup, and their new stuff yeah. is pretty good. Yeah, their movies don't do as well, but their TV shows are pretty good. So that's my recommendation: is check out Doom, Doom Patrol. Doom. Very, Doom. very funny, very Netflix tragic. Who? Very, it's on uh, just DC Universe. 
Oh, you got it. What? Yeah, Netflix. It's a, yeah, it's a different. Ugh. It's a different oh, like on. channel. It's its own like distribution thing. You got to go to DC Universe. Yeah, it's its own come streaming on, thing. DC. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you have to go outside of the bubble and look stuff up. I think that's just overestimating your market share. <laughs> and like, <laughs> what? Yeah, and while, while you hung up your socks like that, this is with a sock pull. Sock pull Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> They're all Freddy krueger too. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that is that? fucked up. You gotta make me Jeez. get a whole the new thing. The wicked wizard of the east. Uh, okay, all right, that's enough. <laughs> Man, Daddy, uh, if anyone wa- I was trying to sell, trying to segue. Jesus Christ, uh-huh. Man, Daddy, if yes. anyone wanted to hear what we had to say, how would you <laughs> tell them the best way to listen would be? Oh uh, well, uh, you could use the one you're using right now, which is. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it could be any of them. But we're on all of them. Uh, if you're listening on YouTube, we're also on Stitcher. If you're listening on Stitcher, we're also on iTunes. If you're listening on iTunes, we're also on Libsyn. We're all over the place. Uh, and the main thing is please subscribe and share. That's yep. the thing we always got to ask you. You're listening to us already. You know a platform. But can you subscribe on that platform? Can you share that platform Not on even, another platform? If you don't want to share with the like the thing, just go tell someone about it. And yeah. Tell them to check like in it real out. life. Yeah. Like, just Meet share, a share with your voice. Yeah. Or a human like, connection for I listened once in to your a life. podcast. And it this, was great. And it was cool, right? And I made me giggle. That's called tongue and mouth. What? <laughs> it's French sharing. Mm-hmm. So either either do tongues and mouths or or do sharing on Facebook. Either way. And we're on Facebook. We're also on Twitter. We're also on Instagram. Just check it out. Follow Fort Fritz. Share Fort Fritz. Twitter, that's uh, Fort Definitely Fritz MCT. MCT. Yeah. for sure. And we are sploobering. We thank you for listening to Fort Fritz.